Hi, I'm Melissa Santos from beyondages.com and today we'll be discussing the signs that a woman doesn't like you and a lot of guys just overlook. Here's the thing about women, whether younger or older, a lot of us are scared to straight up tell a guy that we're not interested. We're worried that he'll react poorly. There are a lot of assholes out there who don't take rejection well and a lot of us don't want to hurt anyone's feelings either. So what we often do is try to let guys down gently by giving him hints that we're not interested. The problem is a lot of guys just don't get the hints. So they'll continue wasting their time pursuing a woman who has no interest in them. Honestly, it's a horrible situation for both parties. Yes, in a perfect world, a woman would be able to tell a guy, sorry, bro, I'm not feeling it. And a man would be able to accept this with grace and decorum. Sadly, though, we don't live in a perfect world. So this video, in this video, I'm going to explain to you that the clear cut signs that a woman does not want to date you. If you spot any of these signs when you're speaking to a woman, you really are better off finding somebody else. But first, if you like our video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons below. We appreciate it and it helps us make more videos for you. You can also check out all of our proven advice at beyondages.com. Now, let's get into it. Number one, closed off body language. You see, when a woman is interested in you genuinely, she will be facing you. She will be looking at your eyes, full eye contact. You will have her full attention. She might even be touching you now and again. You'll see that these are the tried and tested signs that she wants to keep talking to you. If she doesn't like you, she'll often turn her body away from you. If she doesn't even have the will to turn and face you, that is one of the clearest signs that she has no desire to keep talking. On top of that, if she's staring at her phone and looking you know, anywhere else except for you, that's another bad sign. Number two, blunt communication. When a woman is interested in you, she will make an effort to keep the conversation going. She will add her own opinions to the subject you're discussing. She will ask you questions. She will make an effort to show interest in you. If she doesn't like you, she won't be doing any of this. She will give you one word responses. She will perhaps, for example, answer your questions with no extra details. She will mutter things like, oh, really? No way. Cool. Okay. With no enthusiasm. No matter how shy she may be, if she likes a guy, she's going to make some effort to add more to the conversation. This is the case over text as well as in person. So if your online match is only sending one word responses, you can be sure that there are a lot of other guys she's more excited about at this moment. If you're struggling still with actually meeting older women online, let alone starting a conversation, you need to try one of the sites and apps we've seen work the best with more success for most guys. To learn about this and which, which of these apps and sites are best for you, click on the link above. Number three, flaking. Okay, sometimes we have no choice but to flake on a guy we really like. Sometimes life gets in the way and there's nothing we can do to prevent it. But other times we flake on guys because we're just not excited to meet him. This is true for younger women who ghost you suddenly, but older women can be very flaky when she's seriously not into someone. There's an easy way to tell the difference between the two. When we flake on a guy we really like, we'll make an effort to rearrange the meeting for more for a more suitable time. If we don't like you, there will be zero effort to rearrange the date. And if you try to rearrange a date, we'll usually be very vague about it. We'll usually, usually say something like, let me check my schedule or let me get back to you. When women do this, it's um, incredibly rare that we'll actually get back to you. Listen, take a hint. Honestly, if anyone flakes on me more than once, it will be very hard to convince me to give them a third chance. More, most likely, I won't be trying to meet that person again because they just don't respect my time. 
If you're a guy with a busy life and a lot of options for women to date, and you always want to be coming across this way at least, then I'd suggest you do the same. Number four, friendly nicknames. Sometimes we make it extra clear that we want to be friends with you by giving you a friendly nickname like bro, mate, and dude. Sometimes we go on a step further and say, wow, you're such a good friend or the classic put down, you're like a brother to me. Even worse, if an older woman tells you, "Uh uh-huh, you're such a cute kid, that's it. There's no hope for romance there. To really hammer this point home, we might give you the friendly double, double pat on the shoulder, the pity pat. To this day, no man has ever recovered from this. It's like locking the door to the friend zone. There's no escaping now, bro. Sometimes women will do this when we don't even want to be friends. We could be perfectly happy never seeing you again and still call you mate. If we think it'll help get the point across that we're not interested in dating you. For a more detailed explanation on how you can take this kind of response and turn it around, you need to check out our complete course on meeting and attracting older women at the link above. We are so confident we can help you get better results. Number five, avoid physical contact. Okay, this is the main one I wish all men would understand. If you're trying to get physical with us and we tense up, that means we do not like it. Whatever it is you're trying to do, whether it's holding hands, trying to stick your your tongue down our throat or anything in between, pay attention to our response. If we tense up or back away or tell you to stop, you need to just stop. There are never blurred lines here. Number six, talking about a boyfriend. If we don't like you and you're trying to flirt with us, we will immediately bring up our boyfriend. Even if we don't have a boyfriend, we will probably do this. At this point, a lot of guys will waste their time trying to figure out if we're telling the truth about our boyfriend. Honestly, there's no point in doing this. If we say we have a boyfriend, it means we're not interested. End of story. And hint number seven is she will tell you. Perhaps as you're going through this list, you may have been thinking, man, why don't these women just tell us the truth? Well, the good news is plenty of older women out there are brave enough to skip the BS and tell it how it is. Honestly, you should be grateful to these women. You've saved a lot of time, which you can spend on finding a woman who actually appreciates you. If you thank a woman for saving your time when she's honest about her feelings towards you, maybe she'll feel more empowered to do it again in the future. As I mentioned, there are a lot of women out there who are simply too scared to do this because there are a lot of assholes who take it to the heart, berate us, and actually insult us. Don't be that guy. Not everyone is supposed to like you. No matter who you are, there will, there will probably, uh, probably be a lot of women out there who aren't feeling it. Instead of wasting your time on being frustrated about this, I suggest learning about how you can handle rejection and bounce back. The sooner you learn that she's not into you, the sooner you can move on. Also, don't let rejection get you down because there are so many other women you can meet. Now, if you know any other signs that she's not into you that we didn't mention in this video, please leave us a comment. And if you liked our video, please, please, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. You can also check out our site at beyondages.com for more advice on dating and relationships. Bye for now.